Welcome back to That's Clever. We're on the road finding real people making really cool crafts. This Las Vegas artist is giving us VIP access to get dialed into his latest project. Hi, I'm Del Mathis, and I'm a bouncer in Las Vegas, Nevada. You're on the VIP list. Come on in. I make big things. I like this clock. I have a piece of plexiglass here. And what I want to do is find center for, for the circle that I'm going to cut out. I'm going to drill a hole in it. Now I'm going to use my router with the router jig to cut out a perfect circle. The next step would be to draw my separation rings for my embellishments for all the zodiacs. Once I finish drawing my separation lines, I'm going to cut in the orbital tracks with the router. Now that I've prepared the face of the clock, I'm going to cut out some vital clouds to give it an atmosphere. I'm placing the film. On the face of the clock, we're going to paint gold leaf in these two rings. We're going to flip the face of the clock over, and I'm going to paint this part blue. I use a semi-transparent blue paint to paint on the plexiglass so that you can see through it, just as you can see through the clouds. I finished spray painting, so now I'm going to fill off the rest of the film. And as you can see, where the gold got on the film, it comes right off. This is the face of the clock. The only next thing to do is to add the embellishments. I actually cut these out of quarter-inch masonite with my scroll saw, because your objective is to make a box. So then when you pour the RTV rubber mold inside of the box, it hardens like this. We're gonna spray some release agent inside of the rubber mold. Next, we're gonna take our cups, party cups that you get from a grocery store. You mark A and you mark it B. We're gonna get our casting material, which is liquid plastic. It's like chemistry when you were in high school. You mix the two parts equally in two different cups. The next process, the crucial process, because you only have a little bit of time. We're gonna take the two products Pour them in the cup together at the same time. We have about one or two minutes to work after that. It is actually curing as we speak. Now I want to stir it up. If your hands were my hands were, you would notice that this cup is smoking hot. I'm running out of time. So we want to pour it in the center, spread it out. But if you keep looking at the cup, you notice it's starting to cure in here. There you go. I learned the hard way that I had to use a rubber mold rather than a wax mold because this stuff gets so hot that it actually melts the wax. Smoke it! I'm gonna pop the cast out of the mold. And I make a cast of all the astrological glyphs. I use a water-based size, which means glue, to adhere my gold leaf to my glyph. And you just grab your finger and rub it on there. I try not to sneeze while I'm doing this because this stuff is very expensive. This is real gold. I'm actually gold leafing my zodiac. That's Aquarius. That means I'm strong and sensitive. I've just finished up with all the embellishments and I've leafed some of the star silver. And now I'm ready to start building my clock. I'm gonna stick this white board that I cut already just to see how it pops. That's the ticket. I'm gonna glue these down and add even more embellishments. You know what I'm saying? I've attached these separation bars to isolate each zodiac. I've also added the name of each zodiac. I've also added a motor, a 24-hour clock movement. And this is when I get to add the piece de resistance. I've actually made the sign exactly the same way as I made all the rest of the embellishments. It's just a little more complicated. Now I just attach it to the motor, and whoop, there it is. Now I'm going to take my big clock and put it in one of my big frames, because I like doing big things.